Hello, I'm Fleur from the Church of the Good Shepherd and I'm going to be reading you part of the Nativity story. Now the angel Gabriel had already visited Mary and told her that she was going to have a baby boy and Joseph had had a dream knowing that that's what was going to happen and that he was going to help look after the baby. Now in this next bit I'm carrying on reading from The First Christmas and this is a book illustrated by Jane Swift and adapted by Marie Birkinshaw. The Roman Emperor Augustus was the ruler of the land where Joseph and Mary lived. The Emperor told the local governor to make a register of everyone who lived there. But the only way they could do this was making everyone go back to the place where they had been born. Then their names could be written down and recorded. Joseph's hometown was Bethlehem, so he and Mary had no choice but to make the long journey there. Now Mary was already really quite pregnant. It would take three or four days, sighed Joseph. Let's hope the baby doesn't come before we get to Bethlehem. Joseph hurriedly packed their bags, loaded them onto their donkey and set out. I'll show you the pictures here. There we go. And there is the donkey. He doesn't seem like he wants to go on a journey, does he? Joseph's really having to pull him. Rather than go over the steep hills, Mary and Joseph headed for the valley where it was flatter. The road was very busy and they met many travellers. As she rode along, Mary looked around her. Farmers were working the fields where they grew dates, wheat, olives and grapes. As they got closer to Bethlehem, she could see shepherds looking after their sheep. It was night time when they finally reached the town. Their journey had taken much longer than they expected and Mary was very, very tired. I'll show you the picture of their journey because there's some nice pictures here. There we go. Joseph searched the whole of Bethlehem for a place for them to sleep but the inns were all full up. There was only one more place to try. Joseph knocked at the door. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. But before he could say anything, the innkeeper shook his head. Joseph turned to walk away. In the torchlight, the innkeeper saw how Mary was on the donkey and felt sorry for her. You can sleep in there if you want to, said the innkeeper kindly. He pointed towards the stable. It's warm and dry and the animals are friendly. Can you have a look at these pictures? There we go. Well, he was a very kind innkeeper, wasn't he? An inn is a bit like a hotel or a guest house. That very night... Mary gave birth to a baby boy. She wrapped him gently in strips of cloth and laid him to sleep in a manger. Look at this picture here. There's baby Jesus. He's in his manger. And look, there's all the animals around him. On the hills outside Bethlehem, some shepherds were taking care of their sheep. As the shepherds were talking round the fire, they saw a bright light glowing in the distance. The light grew bigger and bigger. Soon it was so bright that the shepherds became afraid. Suddenly the angel Gabriel stood in front of them. Don't worry, I bring you good news, said Gabriel. Tonight in Bethlehem, your saviour has been born. Go now and you will find him asleep in a manger. There we go. There's the shepherds. 
tending their sheep and sitting by the fire. And there is the angel Gabriel. What an amazing sight that must have been. No wonder, though, that they were a little bit afraid. Then the whole sky was filled with beautiful music and glorious light. Hundreds of angels were singing a song of praise to God. Glory to God in the highest and peace to everyone on earth. So the shepherds, knowing that the sheep would be safe on this special night, headed straight towards Bethlehem. There, look at all the angels. It must have been a beautiful sound as well as they sang. When the shepherds saw the baby asleep in the manger, they knelt down to worship him. One of the shepherds had brought a tiny lamb for the baby. When they told Mary and Joseph the things Gabriel had said, Mary was amazed. After a while, the shepherds said their goodbyes and returned to their fields, singing praises to God as they walked along. As Mary went to sleep that night, she, sh she thought about everything she had been told and thanked God for the baby Jesus. And there we are. There's the shepherds coming to visit and they brought the gift of the little lamb as well. And there's Mary asleep on the hay. Who are those visiting her as well? See some little mice down there. <laughs> so what wonderful news. Baby Jesus, our saviour, God's son been born in Bethlehem that night and we celebrate that day don't we on Christmas day so here's a little picture to end with here's baby Jesus smiling away in the manger and there's a little song there a little carol away in a manger away in a manger no crib for a bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. The stars in the bright sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. I hope you all have a very happy Christmas. Bye-bye for now. Teddy says bye as well.